Hello dear brothers in Christ Jesus. Psalm 23 is one of the most well-known and beloved psalms in the Bible. It is a beautiful expression of David's trust and faith in God, his shepherd. The psalm is divided into six stanzas, each of which describes an aspect of the relationship between David and God. Affirms David's trust in God. He says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. David is comparing God to a shepherd, who cares for his sheep with love and care. He is saying that God is his source of security and provision. How God cares for David. He says, He makes me lie down in green pastures, He leads me beside still waters. David is saying that God leads him to places of rest and peace. He is saying that God guides him in safe and quiet ways. Describes how God restores David's soul. He says, He restores my soul, He guides me in paths of righteousness, for His name's sake. David is saying that God comforts and encourages him. He is saying that God guides him in straight paths because of His great love. Describes how God protects David. He says, Even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. David is saying that God is with him, even in the most difficult times. He is saying that God protects him with his rod and his staff, which are symbols of his authority and power. Describes how God blesses David. He says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. David is saying that God blesses him with plenty and joy. He is saying that God honors him before his enemies. Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's pray Psalm 23 together, one of the most beautiful and inspiring psalms in the Bible. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me rest in green fields. Lead me to still waters. And restore my soul. Guide me in the paths of righteousness. For the sake of his name. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. You prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and faithfulness will follow me. Every days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to your presence to ask you to bless all your sons and daughters who are going through difficulties. We know that you are our shepherd, and that we shall not want. Therefore, we ask that you restore the lives of all those who are sad, down, depressed, with a heavy heart, or with a problem, be it financial, health or family. Just as you sent an angel to protect Daniel in the lion's den, send your Holy Spirit to help all those who are going through difficult times. May your love, mercy and justice be present in the lives of each one of us. May you bless us with plenty and joy, and may you lead us in the paths of righteousness. Restore health to all those who are sick, and visit each of your children with your peace. Send your angels to protect the home of each of your children, and may your goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives. In the name of Jesus. Pray like that too. Our Father, who art in heaven. Blessed is your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom and power. Honor and glory today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Amen. Amen thanks to God. May the peace of the Lord, 
which surpasses all understanding, guard the hearts and minds of each of you, and may the Lord deliver you from all evil. Amen.